Hey trainers, Spartan Tano here, and I just wanted to give my quick opinion on the new ranked protection card that has got the Pokemon Unite fandom in uproar. Uh, some people are really for the idea, some people are really against the idea. Just wanted to give my quick opinion on it because I really do not feel that it's as bad as people are making out. So let's just get straight into it. Now for those of you that uh, maybe not not been listening to what's going on in the fandom at the moment, um, not been on Reddit or anything like that, you might not have heard of this, but basically uh, the ranked protection card is an item that El Chico Eevee has found within the files that you can use, you can activate, and it will not decrease your pip. You won't lose a pip if you lose this battle. Now we know we say it shows the diamond there, which means I honestly don't think this is going to be for people that are in Masters. I think this is just the climb to Masters that this is going to be effective. And yeah, so the the Pokemon Unite fandom has gone mental with this feeling like it, it basically means that toxic players are going to be able to use this uh, to make ranked a worse a worse environment to play in it is in a pretty dire situation at the moment with people that are being quite toxic or just trolling in games griefing it's a whole thing um, but I honestly do not feel like this is where the rank protection card is going so Spraggles released a video on this recently and it's a very good video. You should go check it out. He's got some very interesting points that I wholeheartedly agree with. Basically, he mentions that when you masters at the moment, getting to masters is is not like the pinnacle of ranked within Pokemon Unite. You can get to masters with a below 50% win rate. It's not the pinnacle of ranked in Pokemon Unite. You get to masters and you climb masters, you get to 1600, you get your sticker and then you climb to see how high you can get in the world ranking. This, people are getting to Masters anyway, this doesn't mean that they're going to be able to all of a sudden get a load more people in Masters that shouldn't be there. With a low, below 50% win rate, you can lose more games than you win and end up in Masters. All this will mean is that people get there maybe a game or two earlier, which was bound to happen anyway. So, I'm not concerned about that whatsoever. I honestly feel like the Rank Protection card has got some really good potential for improving the game and how people play in this game. I'm going to move on to this next. It's called Ranked... Well, I mean, there's there's MOBAs out there. One of them, Wild Rift, the uh, League of Legends mobile MOBA, has something very similar to this, and the way that they implement it is really good, and I would that's what I'm going to move on to next. I would really love to see Pokemon Unite introduce something like this, and I, I feel like this is where this is going. We've seen Pokemon Unite bring in stuff from other MOBAs into their game, other features into Pokemon Unite. And now that we've got the new developer, the new publisher, I, it seems to be going in the right direction with certain things. I mean, Cypher finally got the cloak it deserves, so... <laughs> I'll move on to Ranked Fortitude next, let's go. Okay, here we go, Ranked Fortitude. So for those of you that don't play Wild Rift, Rank Fortitude is basically a bar that you get beneath your character that you can see. And um, as you play the game, you build up your Ranked Fortitude. You can do this by maintaining win streaks, getting KO streaks, um, staying in a game despite someone that's AFK, simply playing well, turning up to objectives, getting objectives. This will gain you Ranked Fortitude. And once you have that bar full, you then get what's called a ranked protection shield or something like that um, and basically it sounds very very similar to what the rank protection card is it's something that if you get it you can use it and it will protect your rank if you lose in the next game or whatever game you activate it in on the flip side of it you lose ranked fortitude for negative behavior so spamming quitting mid game afk in loads of stuff so I really like the idea with this, and I think this could be something that would be implemented within Pokemon Unite really well. I've just realized that I'm losing a bit of my shirt here. <laughs> my camera's not picking up on uh, the surrounding uh, environment very well. Maybe it's a bit too bright. But anyway, despite losing half my body, uh, yeah, rank fortitude, great potential. So if this, could, if this was brought into Pokemon Unite, I think the potential would be great. Basically, you'll get positive You'll get more positive rewarding ex like experiences in Pokemon Unite. In ranks, you'll see people wanting to turn up to objectives. You'll see people wanting to play as a team, wanting to get involved in team fights. And I think it will just add a positive environment to 
ranked altogether because the people that are doing the negative stuff that are spamming the thank yous and watch outs and are not turning up to rejects because they're going AFK will get punished for it. And I think the potential of being able to, you know, with that happening and then being able to lose ranked fortitude, maybe you could no longer be able to play ranked if you lost so much or, you know, the fair point system does not work. <laughs> so it needs changing somehow. And I think this is the best route to take with it. Now, El Chico Eevee hasn't confirmed how people will be able to get hold of these rank protection cards, which is unusual. Usually it's something that El Chico Eevee manages to find in the files, how to you know, get these items. It's not confirmed if you can use EOS gems or anything like that yet, or as far as I'm aware, if, if you do know, let me know in the comments. Um, but that gives me an even bigger inkling that this is what it's going to be used for. It's something that you get from playing well, or something that you can you can gain uh, in the game. So, yeah, I mean, this is just my quick thoughts on the rank protection card. I'm really not worried about it. Ranked is not in a good position at the moment, but that's the way that Pokemon Unite seem to be. But I do feel like they want to be, you know, making it better. Um, it's had a lot of outcry from content creators, and I think this would be massive for bringing that along. Um, so yeah, thank you for listening to me rant on about that guys. Um, I just wanted to get my opinion across to anybody that would be willing to listen um, on how I feel about it and I'm kind of excited. I'm, I'm excited to see where it's going to go. I think it's got really good potential if, if they do it right. Um, but anyway, thank you for listening. Let me know in the comments what you think, if you've got an opinion on the ramp protection card, if it sounds interesting to you, how do you think it's going to be implemented? Otherwise, I will catch you on the next one. Thanks for listening.